first thing that you're going to want to do to use the basic 2D mill tutorial is import the project. To do this, go up to your home tab and then over to the import project command. Once you do this, you're going to browse to the folder where you downloaded the top package to, in this case the one called Getting Started Basic 2D Milling. Select it and click Open. Now on your screen, this window may appear, but it only will appear if you have imported this package before. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes to this. Finally, I'm going to hit the green check mark and Top Solid is going to import the package. Now this package contains the sample data needed for this simple 2D milling tutorial. As you can see, there's a couple of folders here already. There's a videos folder, a customer data folder, and a machining folder. Inside the customer data folder is the Parasolid file that we're going to import in order to do the machining. You'll also have all the videos, once I'm done recording them, in this folder. So to import the file, I'm going to select the basic part, right mouse button click, and choose convert document. Here I'm just going to accept all the defaults in Top Solid. Like that, Top Solid imports the model. Before you do any work on any part that's imported from another system, you want to make sure that the part is good. So I'm going to go to the surfacing tab and then I'm going to go to the heal command right here. I'm going to go ahead and select my part and hit the blue arrow to take the next step. Here Top Solid ran a check geometry command on it. What that's doing is checking to make sure all the geometry is valid. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now Top Solid wants to run a simplification process. Simplification measures every single face on the model and every edge, and if they measure as simple forms of geometry such as planes, cylinders, lines, arcs, and so on, we convert those entities back to simple forms of geometry. Finally, I'm going to hit next one more time. It's going to run one more check to make sure the act of simplifying didn't do any damage to the part. Invalid faces is zero. We're good to go. Last step here, I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Next, I want to send this into machining. So to do that, I have one of two ways. I can either go to the tab right here that says basic part, right mouse button click, and choose machining. Or I can go to my project tree over here where my imported part is, right mouse button click, and choose machining there. Both get to the same final condition. Once I send it to machining, it's going to ask me if I want to use a template. In this basic sample, we're going to say no and just hit the green check mark. Next, Top Solid wants to know what kind of stock we want. We're going to use simple block stock, hit the green check mark. And now Top Solid has created the stock block and imported the two objects into CAM. Finally, it wants to know how we want to position this part. Well, I'm going to go ahead and just click positioning one here because we don't need to do any special positioning. This part was designed and oriented the way we need to machine it, so we're good to go. The last thing I'll point out here is a couple of basic commands. First of all, if I middle click, and this that's using my scroll wheel of my mouse, I'm holding it down, that's rotation. If I middle click on top of a part, you see that little blue point? That's a temporary rotation point. If I hold my right mouse button down, that's pan. And if I scroll the wheel away from me or scroll it towards me, that's zoom in and zoom out.